How's it going, people? Or welcome back. I changed my mind. I'll read one more section tonight so I can have one more beer. I think that's enough. I'm trying to drink a little less and gave up the ganja altogether, at least for now. <sighs> Having my New Year's resolutions early this year. <laughs> or next year. Having them this year instead. Anyway, feeling better. Lost a lot of weight. Getting more exercise. Yeah, so. But, I just can't read this without booze. Section 96. Revelation. Given to Enoch. And in brackets it says, Joseph Smith the prophet. He's using his phony name. <laughs> Must be a special section. Showing the order of the city or stake of Zion. Um, Shinha, and that's Kirtland, at Kirtland, Ohio, June 4th, 1833. In Shinha, or as those mortals on earth call it, Kirtland. Given as an insample to the saints in Kirtland or Shinha. <laughs> For explanation of unusual names, see heading to section 78. And we've covered that already. You can just watch the old videos if you like. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, I mean, edifying. Um, the occasion was a conference of high priests. So when the high priests get together and have a conference, they got to use phony names. Is that it? Sounds so Masonic. And the chief subject of consideration was that a cer uh, of certain lands possessed by the church. The Kirtland stake of Zion to be made strong. Admission to the United Order. So. Uh, one. Behold, I say unto you, here is wisdom whereby ye may know how to act concerning this matter. For it is expedient in me that this stake that I have set for the strength of science should be made strong. Two. Therefore, let my servant uh, Ahashda, or Newell K. Whitney, <laughs> take charge of the poise <laughs> which is named among you, upon which I design to build Mine holy house. He's still going on about that house. <laughs> Three. And again. Let it be divided into lots. According to wisdom. For the benefit of those who seek inheritances. As it shall be determined in council among you. Four. <clears throat> Therefore, take heed that ye see to this matter. Don't make him write another section. And that portion that is necessar uh, necessary to benefit mine order. For the purpose of bringing forth my word to the children of men. Five. For behold... Verily I say unto you, this is the most expedient in me, that my word should go forth unto the children of men, 
for the purpose of subduing the hearts of the children of men for your good. Even so, amen. Six, and again, verily I say unto you, It is wisdom and expedient in me that my servant Zombre <laughs> uh, John Johnson no related to the relation to the crow killer that they called Jeremiah Johnson in the movies, you know, the liver eating Johnson guy. Um, whose offering I have accepted and whose prayers I have heard, unto whom I give a permission of eternal life. Wow. Inasmuch as he keepeth my commandments from henceforth. <coughs> so don't fuck that up. Seven. For he is a descendant of Seth. Joseph. In brackets. I don't know if that's Joseph Jr. or Joseph Sr. I mean, it, he's already, what, um, Enoch and a couple other names. Is he also Seth? <sighs> Maybe it's his daddy, uh, Joseph Sr. I don't know. It doesn't say. And a partaker of the blessings of the promise made unto his fathers. I think it's Joey Jr. He's got yet another phony name. I mean, secret name. Eight, verily, I say unto you, uh, it is expedient in me that he should become a member of the order. He's got a cool name. Uh, that he may assist in bringing forth my word unto the children of men. 9. Therefore, ye shall ordain him unto this blessing, and he shall seek diligently to take away encumbrances that are upon the house named among you, that he may dwell therein even so. Amen. And that's it for... 96, and that, that's definitely it for me tonight. That's all I can stand, and all I should be drinking, I'm trying to cut down. Anyway, let me know if you learned something. Peace, the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye, I'm done for now.